everyone, I am Aziz Rahman and you are watching me on AR English Grammar. Today I would like to do an interesting video that is finite and non-finite verb. What is a finite verb and non-finite verb? A finite verb is a form of verb. It shows the tense of the sentence and it acts as the main verb in the sentence and it has agreement with the subject and it changes its form as per the subject, tense and number. And what is a non-finite verb? Non-finite verb doesn't act as the main verb in the sentence. It doesn't have any agreement with the subject and it doesn't change its form as per the subject, tense and number. few examples I would like to differentiate what is a finite verb and a non-finite verb. Finite verbs, v1 forms, all the v1 forms are finite verbs means write, sleep, think, do, sleep, fly. These are all v1 forms. First form of the verb. First form of the verb is a finite verb except in a special use. I saw him go. I saw him ride. These are the special forms. In this example, the finite verb, the main verb stands in the last. This is the exception. Remaining all the V1 forms are finite forms. Next, V2 forms. Past tense forms means the second form of the verb are finite verbs. Next, all the helping verbs is, am, are, was, were. These all helping verbs are finite verbs. Will go. This is a two word helping verb. If you find two word helping verb in a sentence, uh, we have to understand that the first helping verb is a finite verb. If you find the three word helping verb in a sentence, first helping verb is a finite verb. If you find Multi-word helping verb in a sentence, the first helping verb means here, shall is a finite verb. Come to non-finite verbs, V3 form, third form of the verb, write, wrote, written, think, thought, thought. Verb, third form of the verb is always stands non-finite verb. And V4, V4 means present participle, V1 plus ing, write, wrote, written, Writing. Writing is the uh, fourth form of the verb. It is also a non-finite verb. Next, 2 plus V1. 2 infinitive. 2 infinitive is also a non-finite verb. Now we practice uh, how finite verbs uh, change their form to how finite verbs change their form uh, as per the tense, person and number in the next board. In this board, you will find only finite verbs. Observe the first example, I play cricket every day. The sentence is in present tense and the form, the verb is play. Now I will write how the finite verb changes its form as per the tense. I play Okay. Yesterday, the finite verb play changed to played as per the tense. Observe the second example, I speak English. In this example, you will understand that how finite verb changes its form as per the person. First person. Second person and third person. I speak English. The subject I is in first person. The subject I is first person and the verb is 
speed. I will write another example. The word speak changed its form to speak as per the person. He is third person whereas I is first person. So the finite verb changed its form to speaks as per the person. Now observe the third example. Apple is of red color. Apple is singular and the verb is it is the main verb in the sentence now you can observe how the finite verb changes its form as per the number singular and plural apple is of red color I will write another example apples are of red color the subject apples is in plural form the verb the finite verb changed to or apples are of red color now we will practice for both finite and non finite verbs in a single sentence in this board you will find both finite and non finite verbs observe the first example i play cricket to make a debut in one day internationals to make a debut the sentence is in present tense and we have two verbs in this sentence play and to make we have two verbs in this sentence Play is a finite verb, whereas to make is a non-finite verb. I will write another example regarding this. I play cricket to make internationals observe this example I played cricket to make a debut in one day internationals the sentence is in past tense and the verb changed its form as per the tense play changed to play but the non finite verb didn't change its form we have written the same verb form to make to make this is the non finite verb it didn't change its form but the finite verb play changed its form as per the tense means 2 plus v1 2 plus v1 is also a non finite verb 2 infinitive observe the second example I speak English to get a job I speak English to get a job how we observe how the finite verb changes its form as per the person I will write we have two verbs in this example also speak and to get I speak English to get a job I will write another example he speaks English to get a job observe here the verb form speak the finite verb changed its form to speaks as per the person the subject is in first person I is first person whereas he is third person the finite verb speak became speaks and the non finite verb didn't change its form. We have written the same verb form to get. It changed as per the person. 
Other the third example, a boy has learnt English. Now in this example, we will observe how the finite verb changes its form as per the number. A boy has learnt English. We have two verbs in this example also. Has. Has and learnt. A boy has learnt English. Now I will write another example. Boys have learnt English. A boy is in singular form whereas boys is in plural form. The finite verb has changed its form to have and non-finite verb didn't change its form and it remains the same in the example. So both learnt we have non-finite verbs and has and have are finite verbs. After the last example, I found his office at a walking distance. The subject is in past tense and the verb we have is found. Found is the verb. Now I will write another example. I will find his office Examples we have two verb forms found and walking. Present participle form v1 plus ing. This is v3 form. This is v1 plus ing form. This is two infinitive form 2 plus v1. I found his office at a walking distance. Now we have finite verb and a non finite verb. Two verbs we have in this example. Now I have written the another example. I will find his office at a walking distance. The finite verb changed its form to find as per the tense. Whereas a non-finite verb v1 plus ing didn't change its form. So friend, this is all today. Uh, in the next video, I will teach you all about non-finite verbs. I will come back soon. If you have not subscribed my channel so far, please subscribe my channel, make positive comments and I will come back soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.